Hi, Sanrio. Good evening. Very well. Hi, how are you? Being good. Okay, you're good. That's great. So today is the continuation of our class. So are you ready to start? Yes. So let me share my screen now to you for a moment. Okay, so here is your book for tonight, so where we will going to talk about unit eight of your book, which is a true, true story. So this one is all about the new story of Romeo and Juliet. So do you know the movie Romeo and Juliet? Yes. Oh, so how do you, do you like the movie? <laughs> no? <laughs> okay. So now, let's have here this one. So this one is the warm up. So as you can see, we have different animals. So let's try to name the endangered animal that we have here. So you have the blue whale, gorilla, sea otter, Asian elephant, snow leopard and giant panda so what is the first one giant panda very good two asian elephant okay asian elephant so when you say asian elephant so those elephants are only uh, or can only be seen in asia like for example thailand taiwan Maybe in, yeah, mostly in Thailand and Japan. Oh, in Thailand and Taiwan. <laughs> so, how about the next one? Blue whale. Very good. Blue whale. Next. Gorilla. Okay, gorilla. Very good. Next one. Sea otter. Sea otter. Okay, sea otter. <laughs> and last one. Jack. Uh Snow leopard. Very good. Snow leopard. So on those animals, which one or which animal do you like? Mm. Giant panda. Oh, you, you like the giant panda. Why giant panda? Mm. Why do you like giant panda? Cute. Yeah, it's cute. Yes, I'm into that. Gyan panda are cute and they are always sleeping and eating. So, how about in your country, in Korea? What is your national animal? Tiger. Oh, a tiger. Oh, so is there a lot of tiger in Korea? Is there a lot of tiger in Korea? Is there a lot of tiger in Korea? <clears throat> Wait for a moment. Is there a lot of tiger in Korea? No? <laughs> okay, it's all right if we don't know. So now, do you have any questions here? Yeah. Okay, so let's try to move on now on the story or on the word that you will be having. So here, um, Song Rio, you will be having um six words. So what is the first word? What do you think is number one? Mm -hmm. So this boy is... Um, beside the window. Lonely. Yes, he is lonely. Very good. How about number two? Rainforest. Rainforest. Okay, number three. Um, destroy. Okay, destroy. Because the building is destroyed by fire. Four. Mm. So, 
ang i-introduce. Introduce. Okay, so introduce like introduce someone to other people by giving his or her name. Okay, for example, I think he is a teacher and he introduced a new student. He okay, introduced is to like introduce someone to other people, especially inside the classroom. So how about number five? Same. Same. Very good. And last one? Female. Very good. So as you can see here, the word is female or she is a female. So female is a gender. So if she is a female, how about him? What is he? Um. If she is a female, how about this guy? What is his gender? He is a? Male. Yes, he is a male like you. You are a male and I am a female. Okay? Okay. Okay. So let's try to have now the next one. So here is this one. So we need to complete the sentence by choosing the correct word. Okay, number one. He, he ran into the building to save the child. 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 Very good. Two. People destroy. Mm -hmm. Our world will rest and build will come. Very good. So the meaning of this sentence is that people are destroying the forest. Because before they build a farm, they will first go to cut trees. So it means that people are destroying the forest to build some farms. Okay, how about number four? Uh, number three. <laughs> My friends aren't here today. I'll run Okay, so if you doesn't have any friends today, that's why you are lonely. How about number four? The female bride may have five babies yearly. Very good. So this one. So does a male can also have babies? Does, mm -hmm. No, yes. No is the answer. Because only female has the capacity to have babies, not male. Okay? Okay. Okay. Now, let's try to have the story. The story about the new story of Romeo and Juliet. So this one is true story okay, it happened in true in real life so let's have here this one first the first paragraph Romeo is a frog he lives in a museum in Bolivia 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 for 10 years he was very lonely scientists Told he was the only frog of his kind in the world. Okay, so this one is all about Romeo and Juliet, but this time Romeo and Juliet are frogs. <laughs> they are frogs. So Romeo is a frog and he lived in museum in Bolivia. And for 10 years, he was very lonely because he was alone. And scientists think or thought that Romeo is the is just the only one or only one kind of dot frog around the world. Okay? okay? Now, let's try to have the next one. In the past, there were many frogs like Romeo in rainforest in Bolivia, but over time, many frogs 
died. He did speak cold. People cut down the floors. Rest. This destroyed the frogs' home. People also introduced new fish into the area. Area. Yes. They ate the frogs. Scientists saved Lumia, but they couldn't find any female frogs. She, I uh, so Lumia was on on alone. Okay, so that is the reason why Romeo was alone for 10 years. Because in the past, in Bolivia or in the rainforest of Bolivia, there's a lot of frogs like Romeo, meaning there's a lot of frog like this in the rainforest. But over time, many frogs died because people destroy or cut down the forest. They destroyed the frog's home. Also, one, one thing that cause this kind of problem is that people introduce new fishes into the area or into the rainforest. And it is also the reason why all of the frogs died because those fishes ate the frogs. Okay, again, there are two reasons. First reason, people destroyed the forest or cut down the trees. Also, the second reason is those fishes who ate the frogs. Okay? Okay. Okay, let's try to have the next one now. Here. Recently. Recently, scientists went to the rainforest. They found five more Frogs, three were female. One of those was ready to have babies. They named her Juliet. They introduced Juliet to Romeo. The two frogs loved each other. The scientists hoped. That Romeo and Juliet will have babies. E eventually, they will make a safe home in the forest. They will take Romeo and Juliet child children there. Okay, very good. But now, Romeo was very happy. Because the scientists went to the rainforest and they found more five more frogs or five more frogs. And the three of them are female. And one of them are ready to have babies. And they named Juliet. So they love each other and they will going to have or they will going to make a babies. So after they will be having a babies or after they have a babies, they will going to go home or they will going to make a safe home in the forest where Romeo and Juliet and her children will live peacefully. So do you have any question? No. <laughs> okay, how about do you like this story about Romeo and Juliet? Do you like the story? No. <laughs> Why? Because it's all about the frog? <laughs> okay. So if you don't have any questions here, we will be moving on now to the next one. The yes or no please. Okay. But before that, let's try to have first the words. So once again, so Rio, we have six words that we have here. First, we have lonely. So lonely is sad because nobody is with you. 
So how about now, Sangrio? Are you lonely? Or mm -hmm. Song? No, yes, you're not lonely because you are with your family or you're with your parents. So rainforest. So rainforest is mostly found in tropical areas. And also in the rainforest, there's a lot of trees. Okay. Destroy or to make damage badly, some, to something badly. Like those people who destroy the home of the frog or Romeo and Juliet. Next one. Introduce is to bring someone from one place to a new place. Safe and female. So now, we will be having the yes or no quiz. First question. Is it Romeo or Romeo? No. No, because there's Juliet now. Next. Did a scientist or find to uh, find some more pros less recently okay yes yes very good now let's have the reading comprehension so number one what is uh, another good title for the story children write it Mm -hmm. Scientists mm -hmm. say the first book. Scientists mm -hmm. find the layer for Columbia. Mm -hmm. okay, so, which one is a good title? Scientists to mm -hmm. save the last book. Uh, yes, it's also good, but the better one is this one. Because science, because before Romeo was alone, right? Romeo was alone in the museum. But because of the scientists, Romeo is not alone anymore because there's Juliet. So meaning scientists find Juliet for Romeo. Meaning Romeo has a wife now. <laughs> He's not alone. Okay. <laughs> Okay, let's have here number two. So, next one. Why did... Live alone in a museum. So why did Romeo live alone in a museum? Scientist Gordon find any more uh, I don't know okay so what we what are Romeo and Juliet are they human is mm -hmm. or are Romeo and Juliet human mm -hmm. No. No. So what are they? Frog. Okay. So scientists couldn't find any more frog of human of his kind. Huh? His kind. They couldn't find any more frog like Romeo in the rainforest. Okay. So let's try to have number three. So again, I mentioned earlier the two reasons why frogs are endangered. So what are some reasons that these frogs are rare? Write the answer in your own. So what are the two reasons? Mm What are the two reasons why those frogs have the little amount in the rainforest? Because people 
destroy people destroy what people what is in it in projects okay rainforest mm -hmm. okay yes rainforest very good people destroy their rainforest because they are cutting trees to build farms okay that's the first reason how about the second reason uh, so some people introduce fishes into the rainforest so those fishes what does the fish did to the frogs? Mm -hmm. ah. The fishes eat frog. Okay, very good. The fishes eat the frog. That's the reasons. Okay. 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 Good job. So let's have here now number four. So what do scientists hope in the future? So you can unscramble this one to have the correct sentence. They take uh, they hope they hope to okay. okay, they hope to they hope to take normal children to the, the rain breast. Very good. Okay. So in the future, they hope to take Romeo, Juliet, Romeo and Juliet and her children to the rainforest. And they will go to live there um, peacefully. So all done with this. So now let's try to have the word study. So here... Song Rio, we have the word introduce. Introduce is to um introduce someone to a new place. Okay, like um Juliet. So in this one, we have two meanings on the word introduce. So can you please try to read the first sentence? Let me introduce my partner. His name is Pro. Okay, so here, introduce. Introduce my father. So you will go to introduce your father by giving his name. So like for example, hi, this is my father. His name is Paul. Okay? Okay. Next one. If you introduce a new fish into the rainbow rainforest. Very good. So while on this one, the meaning of introduce is that people put a new fish into the Bolivian rainforest. So first one, you give your father's name to introduce him. While on the second one, you put the new fish to the rainforest. So, do you have any questions? No. Okay. So, let's try to have now this one. Can you read this one? The Spanish introduced potatoes Europe <clears throat> in the 1500s. Okay, so the Spanish introduced potatoes to the Europe in the 1500s. So what does it mean? It is sentence into the just means tell someone another person bring something new into an area. Okay, very good. Because the Spanish bring 
potatoes to Europe. So from Spain, they bring potatoes to Europe. Very good. Now we are all done with this one. So let's try to have now the skill and retelling. So we will be having the step one. So all we need to do is to put words in the right part of the table. So again, we have problem one and solution one, problem two and solution two. So let's start with the problem one. People cut down trees and introduce Um, close to the rainforest. Mm -hmm. Do they, they inter do they introduce frogs? It's mm -hmm. not frogs. It's mm -hmm. Come here. Yeah, it's fish. They introduce fish, and the fish is eat the frogs. That why, that's why the frogs die. Okay, what's the solution? Scientist. Save on frog and took him to the old museum. Very good. So let's try to have problem number two. Scientists couldn't find any female frogs. Okay. Romeo was lonely. Very good. So what is the solution? Scientists found more frogs in the rainforest. They introduced uh, introduce a female frog Juliet to Romeo. Very good. So we will be having now the last one here. So here, all we need to do is to retell the story. So let's start with this one. Scientist saved Romeo and brought him to the museum. Okay. <clears throat> Next. Juliet was found in the rainforest. Very good. Last one. Romeo met Juliet and they loved each other. The scientists will make a safe home in the museum. Forest. Okay, it's forest. And take Romeo and Juliet's child from there. Very good. Okay, so we are all done with this topic. But before we end our class, do you have any more questions? No. Okay, so that will be all for the night. So thank you for your time, Song Rio. So keep up the good work and have a good night. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.